Hello, welcome back boys and girls to the mathcenter.com. Uh, I continue this series of uh, exercises that, uh, that I'm doing on a simple accounting questions. This is taken from the recent May, June uh, 2020, the summer paper. And this is taken from uh, 045211. The variant is 11. This is from paper 1. I think earlier on, if you check my earlier videos, I did do some questions from the uh, earlier part of this paper. So we continue with this, okay? Uh, do give us a like and follow us on the messenger.com uh, and tell and make some comments below if you want me to do more of this. Okay, so this is question 27. Ahmad provided the following information. We're given the balances, trade receivables, credit sales, cash sales, checks received from trade receivables uh, during the year, and irrecoverable debts written off. Now look at what they ask you. By how much had the trade receivables increased? by the end of the financial year. Please, uh, people, please read very carefully. By how much had the trade receivables increased? They didn't ask you to find the closing balance. All right? So do be very careful and don't be tricked. So now what would I do? I would quickly open a trade receivables account. All right? So I will fit in the balances. The opening balance is, balance brought down, 15K. Please in an exam, write it in full. Here for expediency uh, and, and convenience, I quickly use short form, but please, in your exam, write it in full. Now for the year ended, the credit sales, so I'm using this figure. I'm using this figure, credit sales. Cash sales will not come in. Cash sales would simply be credit sales and debit cash. So ignore the cash sales. But this credit sales of 85,000, what would you do? Sales, so you would credit sales and debit um, this trade receivable, so I have 85,000 sales, okay? And then checks received from trade payables, yes. This 65,000 will be very important. Money is coming in, so checks you are entering, money is coming to the bank, so you would have debit your bank and credit trade receivables. So here I will write bank. Again, people, please write in full, huh? please. Okay, then the irrecoverable debts. Irrecoverable debts, what's the nature of this? This is an expense, so you would debit your income statement for your recoverable debts and write off, take it off permanently from trade receivable. So here I will write income statement, your recoverable debt. Okay, again, short form, don't do that in your exam. 2000. Okay, so now people, what do I do? So I'm going to balance off the figure and find the closing balance. Obviously, on the left hand side, 85 plus 15K will be 100,000. Okay. On the right-hand side, it's less, so I still must put it as 100,000. So 100,000 less 67, 65 and 2,000 will give me 33,000. This 33,000 is the closing balance. That means your balance as at 31st December for your trade receivables, which you can carry down to the next year. Okay, just for some teaching. So now people, your closing balance is a debit balance of 33,000. Is that what they want? So you mustn't be tricked. This is not the answer because of the question, by how much has trade receivables increased? So what you should do is, uh, your closing balance is 33K, your opening balance is 15K. All right. And so the, the closing less the opening, the difference is 18,000. So, but how much has trade receivables increased? 18,000. So, your answer is A. All right? Good. Okay, Do you can watch this again and um, listen to this video again if you are still not sure. Again, double entry, uh, you have to be pretty good in it. Okay? So, now let's move on to the next question. Just a minute. I'm getting the hang of this tablet. Okay. Next question is, ah, sorry, I have to clear everything. Okay, clear all my drawings. Okay. Okay, the next question is, Gordon provided the following information for the year. Question 28, revenue, opening inventory, closing inventory, and a markup. Gordon took goods, 7,000 for his own use. Okay, people, let's go. Let's start. All right, what were the purchases? Goods for own use. 
Okay. What's for own use? This is drawings. This is drawings. Uh. What were the purchases? Now, this type of question, uh, I, I like uh, doing this question like this. I know uh, the, the newer textbooks have this long way of writing statement by statement, which I find a little bit tedious. I'm fond of teaching you guys the old fashioned way, pure double entry. So, training account, the revenue, which is sales, is 90K. Fine. The opening inventory, please, people, uh, short form here, but don't do that in your exam. Huh? 8K. Okay, now there's purchases. I call this purchases, let's say it is a net figure. Okay, uh, not really exam, but it's a net figure. I call it X. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, I have a figure here, then I have closing inventory. Closing inventory, which is 2K. Okay, closing inventory. And so I have cost of sales. Okay, again, short form. Huh? And then gross profit, GP. Now, what do I know? They say the markup is 100%. Markup uh, is 100% relative to cost of sales. Are you with me? So, therefore, people, ouch, okay, this 90K. 90,000 is actually 150% if expressed in percent. This gross profit markup is 50%. And this cost of sales is 100%. You following? So you have uh, 90K here, left and right. Okay, so 90K, 50 over, uh, 50 over 150. The total here is 150%. All right, we talk about percentages. Hence, that's why you must know your basic maths. So 50 over 150 times 90K, this will give you 30,000. Therefore, your cost of sales, which is 100%, twice of that will be 60,000. Now 60,000, something minus uh, 2,000 gives you 60,000 by simple maths. Please, you must know this 62,000. 62,000, 8,000 plus X is 62. So this must have been 54,000, okay? So, but this 54,000 is net of purchase, is net. So the purchases, purchases are A, less drawings, 7K, gives you 54,000. Hence, A must have been 54 plus 7, 61,000. And hence, boys and girls, your answer is D. Okay, I, I like this method. I teach all my students uh, this method of doing uh, markup. Uh, you know, when you can give you ratios of markup and a margin, it's easy. You work backwards and you can get it. Okay, so be careful. These are very popular questions or ratios. They're bound to come up either in paper one or paper two. So be very careful. Know your ratios well. You can watch this video again. All right. Okay, so we'll go on to the last one. Okay, last question for this video. Okay, last question is question 29. A trader provided the following information. Okay, 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 let's see. Wait, let me tap on my pen. Okay, a trader provided the following information, revenue, purchases, cash and credit, and trade payables. What was the trade payables turnover? So people, trade payables turnover, you must know the formula. Trade payables turnover is simply the uh, closing trade payables, right? Which is 9765 over ah, your cost of sales. Now, your cost, your, sorry, over your credit purchases. Sorry, my bad. Because it's payable liability, okay? Over your credit. So it is your closing trade payables, 9765, uh, over the credit purchases, 115. Please ignore the cash purchases. There's no credit uh, extension of payment attached to uh, cash purchases. So times 365 days. And this will give you a simple answer, uh, 31 days. And so your answer is it.
Okay, simple formula, uh, you have to know. Okay, and we are done. Okay, so do give us a like, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, the rest of these solutions and the whole entire video for this course, I, I've already done it on video. Uh, you might like to take a look there. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, good luck. Uh, do your best in your exam. I'll see you soon.